In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to edit audio right in your timeline. PowerDirector offers a great audio mixing room with some nice features, and we'll deal with that in a subsequent lesson. But there are times when you want to do some quick uh, audio level changing right in your timeline, and it works really well there. So let me show you how and when and why we might want to edit simply by going onto the timeline. I have on the screen a junior high band playing in a parade. I'll play the clip for a few seconds and you can get a sense of the audio that we're dealing with here. <laughs> Okay, it's pretty loud. Uh, it has a lot of energy to it, but I might have problems because what I've done, if you look on the second track or the bottom track, I have a narration track. I pretended I was one of those uh, commentators you will see in the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade or a, a uh, Pasadena Parade who was commenting on the people who were marching. And I'm going to play this for a second, and you're going to see that it's very hard to hear my commentary. This is the junior high band playing in. Okay, so we need to make some changes in this track in order for the narration to make sense. Uh, oftentimes, you'll find a situation where you have background uh, audio that you need to uh, lower the level of in order to hear what you want your audience to focus on. So I'm going to click here and go to the beginning of this track. And now I'm going to uh, make some changes. But before I do, I'd like more real estate. So I'm going to take my uh, mouse, drag down in this audio track, and with a double-headed arrow, make it as big as I want. That way I get to see a lot better. And they always start with a decibel level with a little white dot. And if I click the mouse there, it says I have a gain of zero dB. And that's what I should have if I click on the dot at the end. Well, I just tweaked it by three tenths of a decibel. And all you need to do to move either of these dots is hold the mouse down till you get a red circle and then you can go up or down. I can make it climb and we're clipping here. That's what the yellow is, or I can turn it down a little bit and I have less. Uh, so I've actually reduced the decibel level over here. Now at this point in time, I want to lower it. In order to do that, I'm going to click on here. Whenever you click on the black line, you create uh, a point that you can edit. It's a little bit like a keyframe. And so I have an audio keyframe here, and then I'm going to click another one next to it, and I'm going to begin to lower it. So we'll make it go down. And then if my narration continues for a, for a season here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I don't need all this audio preview feedback. My narration ends, move over here, about this location. And so I'm going to click uh, another one here and then we'll, we'll uh, fade, fade it up again. And whenever you're on either of these, you can move them. Uh, so if I take them. I can move them up and down. I can also move left and right. And that says that's a gain of minus 12.4. If I want this steady, I'll click over here and lower this on my mouse to a minus 12.4. And so now I have a level gain in this area. Here it's actually going to be a little less because this is up to zero and this is a minus 4.4. So I could move it up uh, as close as I can get with a mouse here to a zero. And then over here, I would probably want it to stay a zero too, unless I'm clipping. So that gives me an opportunity during the course of the narration to lower it. Let's see what happens when we try it this way. We're going to play for a second and uh, see what we... This is the junior high band playing in the Scandinavian Days Parade in Iowa. Uh, they are under the direction of Arthur Peterson. Uh, the band has new uniforms as of this year, and they're excited. So you see what, what goes on. I could actually increase uh, my gain on this track as well if I wanted to, 
or um, adjust the decrease here any way I want. Now sometimes when you're editing you're accidentally clicking here and, and, and you oh, I added another button by a click and I didn't want to do that and another one. There's no way to remove these once you uh, put them in. You can slide them left and right all, all day long or up and down all day long but you cannot remove them. If you mess it up to a place where you're really frustrated what you have to do is you right click on it and you click on restore to original volume and it sets you back to your default and so you go back in and you and you uh, click in your your um, uh, audio I'm calling the call them audio keyframes for now I'm not sure what the technical term is and you can adjust the audio to come down and come up again but uh, this is very important if you want to make sure that your tracks uh, work together and you wish to just use this uh, style of editing on the timeline. Uh, in the next lesson we'll show you a little bit about how to use the audio mixing room but sometimes this is what you want to do uh, because it gets the job done. We hope you found this useful.